Hello everyone, my name is Bruno Capuano. I'm part of the DogNet Cloud Auto Case Teams, and I am here today to share some practical and I hope fun AI coding tips with you. And hey, I hope you really get the idea of this because it all started when my friend Gisela, she may or may not be a superhero. She asked me if she can use AI to help her in, to, in her day to day. And by the way, this is not in the superhero side, this is on her personal side. She's a programmer. So I was super happy because I said, yes, you know what? We can do, we can do a lot to help. So we are started to talk about, hey, this is Azure AI Studio. Here you can deploy and use in chat or completion modes, uh, models like GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 or more. You can chat with this. She asked me, okay, how about if I want to write an out of office? Like with this prompt, with a story that needs to be in English, using emojis and more. And hey, this all works. So she was very happy, say, okay, I like the AI part, but how do we use this? How do we integrate this with our day-to-day -day coding? And also, if I want to use an external API, like an example, this superhero API, how we can use it? So the whole idea is you can use this using semantic kernel. And this is a notebook, a polyglot notebook, that is going to show the basic steps to use this, to create your own prompt, to use your own functions, to use external functions, and more. And you are going to find later a repository with all of the steps here that you need. But the whole idea is that what we have here is, first of all, we need to install Semantic Cloud. I am going to start to install the package, the NuGet package of the version 171. And then this is a kernel. This is Semantic Kernel. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a kernel. And we are going to add one service. In this scenario, we are going to add an Azure OpenAI chat scenario. And this is important. We can add Azure OpenAI, we can add OpenAI APIs, or even local models to work with this. And then we start to work with plugins. And remember, my friend Gisela, she said, you know what? I want to have the chance to write my own prompt. Like we say before, like we have here, a write an out of office message, where we have a hero, where we have an input. And the whole idea is that all of these prompts lives in Folder. So if we go here and we see semantic function, we have here a writer plugin with a couple of folders here and subfolders, a fan plugin with a joke inside. And each one of these plugins has first a prompt, and then we also have a configuration. And the configuration is basically what we can also do in Azure AI Studio. When we run here our chat, we have some parameters. If you take a look here at the parameters panel, we can basically modify the temperature, which is how creative the model should be, also top priorities and more. If we want to do this, but programming, what we can do is, hey, we create a plugin that is going to have a prompt. In this case, is write a joke in English. And then we are going to have the configuration here with the tokens that we want to use, temperature and more. So going back to the code, the whole idea is that, hey, I, we can create variables to pass to the prompt. In this case, tell me an April's full joke. We are in April for Batman. And when we run this, we are going to have the kernel where we register Azure OpenAI chat completion calling this, this prompt and it's going to generate a joke. By the way, the jokes are not very good. Sorry about that. And we can make this a little more complex. We can start to write very big, very big prompts, like an example, tell a story, a spring story for Superman. And hey, I have here a very long story. Once upon a time in the bustling city of Metropolis, this is going to work and work and work and get here. Or like an example, I want to create an out of office message for Christmas for the superhero Hulk. Let's run this one. And in this one, we are going to write also a function called, called write long story that is going to pick up the whole story and it's going to split. And take a look at this. This prompt is a good one because this is Hulk getting away for Christmas. And he's going to also say that, hey, when I am not here, if you need assistant, in the meantime, you can reach my good friend Thor. Why is that? Because in the prompt, when we define what we need to do to write this out of office, we are also going to say, hey, you must offer her for another superhero in your absence. So we can define how far we can go here. So right now, 
we have a lot of plugins that we can define using prompts. But also remember that Gisela asked me, hey, if I want to integrate my own information, I have my own system and I want to call this, so we have this superhero API, it's a public API. So we also have a, a function here, a C sharp class function that is going to call this API, next to be in request, and it's going to ask for information for a superhero. Part of this information, let's see, take a look at Batman. It says the power stats, the biography, the alter ego, the real person behind the superhero, and we have more. So we have here, Batman is Bruce Wayne. And the whole idea is that we can also call these functions in semantic kernel. So we can invoke the hero info as part of our kernel. Remember, the kernel is the, the part where we are adding all of this functionality. And then we are going to ask, hey, you know what? Give me the alter ego from Wonder Woman, which is Diana Prince. Or let's try another one. Let's go for Iron Man. And Iron Man is going to be Tony Stark. So we have all of our pieces together. And this is the moment that Gisela asked me, OK, but when I have all of this, how can I put it all together? How can I ask? You have this intelligence to create stories, messages, jokes, get alter ego. How can I ask something more complex to put it all together? We have the planner. And the planner is an amazing piece that we have in thematic kernel that is going to allow us to put it all together. So let's install first the NuGet package. And then let's create a planner. There are different types of planner. Right now, we are going to use the handlebars. And then this is the important part. I have a request here. And this is kind of a long request. I would like you to tell me a joke about Batman. And with the joke, create an out of office message. You see here, we are going to use different plugins that we have. So let's ask Semantic Kernel to create a plan. When Semantic Kernel put all of the pieces together, analyze the request, and create a plan, we have here a simple plan that is going to say, first of all, it's going to create a joke, and then it's going to use the joke in the out of office message. So let's take a look at the full execution here. Once we have this, we have, hey, hello. I'm out of the office fighting the crime with Batman. Here is a joke for you. Why did Batman and Robin? He put it all together. And remember, we can also ask to use a native function, like the one that we have to have the, the real identity of a superhero. So we can ask something like, hey, I would like you to find out Iron Man's alter ego and then create an out of office message for Iron Man, same thing with his alter ego. So now we are going to mix native functions and plugins. When we run this, it's going to generate the steps. We can see here we have more steps. So the first one is get the superhero, which is Iron Man, then the alter ego, alter ego then create the message and then put the message. We have all of the steps together. And if we run all of these all together, we are going to have yeah, a very small story, which is, I am out of the office for ours and, ours and mothers. Please contact Pepper Pot, Tony, which is uh, nice because Pepper is Tony assistant and Tony Stark is Iron Man. But everything is all together here in Semantic Kernel to do this, to work like this. And as I said, everything that we just seen is available and it's using Semantic Kernel because Semantic Kernel makes it really, really easy everything that we see, calling APIs, internal APIs that you have, invoking and using OpenAI services, Azure OpenAI services, any type of language model is amazing. If you want to know more, if you want to follow the step of everything that we do in a longer way with a lot of descriptions and more, we also have this repo available, which is aka.ms slash EVSK, Hero Repos, Hero's Repo, so you can get there. And I strongly advise you to also go to the Semantic Kernel blog to get the latest information here. So, hey, I hope you really like this. This was a fun one. I really love to enjoy this to help my probably hero or not superhero. You, we don't know, I can't tell, but this is my contact info and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the events. Thanks.